Hey you guys, it's Sierra, aka Sierra the Goat. One Piece Chapter 960 just dropped about an hour ago. It is called Kozuki Odin Takes the Stage. I have it pulled up on my computer right here. Let's get into this live reaction. Okay, we're on page one. We're still in Dress Rosa with Gang Beige. Beige, oh my family, the grand search for Lola. So he's disguised, it looks like, walking around town. And there's these two girls. I don't know. What the heck? That one girl though looks really familiar and there's a statue of Luffy, <laughs> Usopp and Kuros in the back. That's funny. <laughs> okay, let's get into the freaking flashback. I'm also sick by the way, so sorry if I sound weird. This area is known for its grand flourishing forest, not a single factory in sight. So Wano Kuni. 41 years ago, if you guys didn't know that, there was a correction that it's actually 41, not 39. The vegetation thrives due to, due to the nearby rivers and sparkling sea. People fishing. This is a tell from the past. I caught one, a tell about when Wano was brimming with life. I am telling the truth, I swear it. I saw it with my own two eyes. The mountain was moving. The mountain moved? Indeed. We fled from it and ended up here. It was even glowing, growling. My bad. Who is this? Mountain Pass, Tea House, Poster Girl, Tsurujo. Is this Kinemon's wife, like, back in the day? Perhaps you encountered a mountain god. The three of you are quite chipper considering the circumstances. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Nothing gets past you, Otsuru. Oh, that's gotta be her. Can you keep a secret for us? The truth is, we were finally able to capture an elusive creature. It took us a whole year. Take a look at it. Wow, what a beautiful boar. Its skin is snow white. If we take this little guy to the capital, we can trade him in for a whole piece of white gold. Oink, oink, oink. Huh? A piece of white gold? You could buy a giant mansion with that kind of money. Otsuru looks really different. <laughs> like, I mean, like how Oda usually designs the girls. I like it. It's refreshing. He usually makes every girl look like Nami. Boss Kurokama has been saying for years, that he wants a rare white boar probably to display outside his store. <clears throat> My God. He put a bounty on it, but nobody has been able to capture it until now. What would be, that would be quite distasteful. White boars are considered heralds of the gods. Da ha ha, cute story and all, but this is just an exotic animal. Cling. Ah, hang on a moment. Oh. Who'd she just grab? Did you steal money from my wallet again? Kinemon? Oh, it's definitely, okay. Ow, 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 stop it, Otsuru. Think of our children, childhood friendship. Aw, they were childhood friends, aw. My big bros have been having money issues. Kinemon looks so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Your big bros, I bet they gambled their money away. How many times have I loaned you money now? If you ever touch my money again, I will rip out your organs and sell them to reclaim your debt. <laughs> if you cannot afford to pay me back, then I will strip you of all your belongings as a repayment. Uh, thanks for the mail, Otsuru. The money's on the table. <laughs> Cute. Ah, you bastard. I remember you from earlier. Wah ha ha ha, a Yakuza thug from the capital. Kin, right on the crotch. <laughs> you should be more careful when you talk in public. Of course, I would overhear you. This boar is worth one piece of white gold, right? My luck has finally turned around. I have hit the jackpot. Actually, Kinemon looks cool right here. He kind of looks like Bart without like the teeth crazy once i had this over once i hand this over to boss kuromakama i will be a achoo huh? Ugh. 
Hand over your clothes and your money too. Oh, he's naked. <laughs> That's why. Um, regarding Lord Odin, he really does lack the attitude for sailing, aptitude for sailing. Today was his 38th attempt to legally leave the country. The fact that he is still alive is surprising. He really has lived quite the eventful life. Even as a baby, when he was less than a year old, he managed to fling his wet nurse across the room. By age two, he was able to catch two rabbits with his bare hands. The Shogun of Wano, Kozuki Shukiyaki, Odin's father. Okay, I'm digging his design, it's kind of cool. What does he look like? He kind of, <clears throat> he looks like Jafar, the fishman. <laughs> like, for real, he does. By age four, is his name Jafar? I think so. By age four, he was able to throw a large boulder at a bear, crushing it to death. So he was a freak, like Big Mom, pretty much. By age six, he was roaming the red light district, wasting royal funds on frivolities. By age eight, he was getting drunk and starting fights with gamblers. By age nine, even the Yakuza blacklisted him and banned him from entering their casino. Dang. He's got the clan symbols. It reminds me of Big, bomb, uh, Big Mom, just like how she was kind of like a freak, just strong, you know, for no, no reason. <laughs> He retaliated by setting their casinos on fire and practically starting a war with them. If he's gonna be silhouetted this whole time, I swear, he better, <laughs> we better get a reveal. It all accumulated when he was captured at age 10 after he nearly killed someone. He was sentenced to hard labor in the stone quarry where he showed off more of, a un more of his unique talents. He climbed the ranks at the quarry until he was running the place. He truly is a member of the Kozuki family. But after that, his attitude changed significantly. When he was 14 years old, the capital was experiencing prolonged drought. Drought. I cannot, I can't read. The wells had dried up and countless people were suffering. So he diverted a river straight into the capital. <laughs> but that only led to the capital getting flooded, so his capture was ordered. <laughs> However, Lord Odin just followed that water route and attempted to escape out to sea. But in the end, that voyage was short-lived. Man, this guy is a massive, like, mess up. <laughs> I said in my last chapter, like, the whole Kozuki Odin and the Nine Red Scabbers remind me of the Straw Hat crew. So, like, Kozuki not being able to, Kozuki Odin, not being able to do a bunch of stuff is like Luffy when he's saying, you know, I can't sell a boat, I'm not a shipwright, like, when Luffy says that stuff. It's kind of like Odin. Think about it. <laughs> At the age of 15, he was in hiding. He got a job at a temple deep in the mountains. Wahaha, ha 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 Every night he would kidnap women from the capital and eventually formed a harem. <laughs> the work of the devil. <laughs> Even though the girls technically chose to stay at their own free will. <laughs> Oda, about to get me too or whatever. <laughs> their loved ones were enraged. Their parents, spouses, and even powerful samurai attempted to rescue them, but Lord Odin stood his ground and eagerly took them on. That event came to be known as the Harem Revolt. <laughs> even the Yoguro family got dragged into the fray after failing to prevent the fighting. Lord Odin's victim numbers in the... That is quite enough. <laughs> of course, Lord, or Lord Odin is 18 now, Yet, he still causes trouble on a daily basis. Do not say another word. Disowned. <laughs> Just deliver this to Odin for me. <laughs> so, does Odin, Odin is being disowned. This is the day you finally get caught. He went that way. Capture him. Capture Kinemon. H hold on a second. I was just trying to catch, cash in a bounty. Stop lying, you swindler. I am not lying, just let me go to the Kurokoma family's mansion. Kinemon, oh, that kid stole our money. Catch him and flay him alive. The chivalrous knight of the capital, Hyogoro the flower. Oh, he had a big old belly. <laughs> Catch 
catch him alive. Oh, Kinemon O is what I would normally say, but in a one-on-one -on -one fight, none of you would stand a chance. Haha, <laughs> you must be joking. We will bring him right in. In right now. What? Kinemon? You brought the wrong pot. The bigger ones are worth 60 silver pieces, though. Yeah, but I can trade this pot back in for 30 pieces of silver, right? Sure, no problem with that. So, if you add the extra 30 pieces of silver I spent when I bought the pot to the value of trading it in now, it should be worth 60 pieces of silver. So I should be able to get a big one. I suppose you are right. Here you go, please come again. E e e. An orphan from the capital, Denjiro. Okay, let's look at him. So is he a midget? <laughs> He's got sunglasses on like freaking Doflamingo. Huff, huff, hey, hey. That brat got a discount just like that. What a gull gullible stone owner. Hey, Denjiro, hmm? Huh? How did I end up with only 30 pieces of silver? Ooh, this is a big old page. The flower capital, crematorium. crematorium. Sir Samurai, please do something about him. Grandpa Katsu. Hey, stop crying. I know this is odd for a funeral, but regardless, what is the matter? Lord Odin. Puff, puff. Heir to the Shogunai of Wano, Kazuki Odin. Wow. He doesn't look weird, which is good. I think, I think his head is flat. <laughs> I can't tell if that's a hat or if his, head, or his hair is just like flat. This is really, huff, 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 this stuff. I do not understand what you are saying, but get off of my father. This is an insult to his memory. After cremation, we are going to collect his ashes, but then, well, just look over there. He's using the fire that burnt my father's body to boil some Odin. Boiling Odin, gulp. Drink, drink, drink. Eating, stuffing his face. Munch, munch, chop, slurp. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Plonk. The next time we drink together, Katsuyu, it will be in the afterlife. Well, that's ironic. He ate Odin on top of this dude, and then he got boiled in Odin when he died. Now then, my condolences to the family. My apologies, he is not one for detailed explanations. I want to see him like more. Huh. Is that how it is? What is with that guy? He's so cool. This means trouble. Hide your wives and daughters. So this is the charming Odin from the rumors. Clang you guys he just literally ate odin soup on top of a dead guy <laughs> did you guys come to capture me yes well i did end up being bribed but you should not talk about such things out loud you idiot anyway what is going on here no one is avoiding me like they usually do the fire bell has been ringing non-stop but there's there seems to be no fire no nearby Hey, is it a big fire? It is bigger than a mere fire. How could you not know about this, Kinemon? You should, you should never have brought that with you, huh? You mean the white boar? Boss Coca-Cola probably wanted to use it to crush the Yogoro family. What do you mean, Denjiro? Like I said earlier, wherever that little boar goes, its parent is not far behind. According to the ancient text, a full-grown white boar is the size of a mountain. Many refer to them as mountain gods. It is said, it is said that hundreds of years ago, a whole region was annihilated in a single night. I thought Thought it was just a fairy tale, but if this white boar is here, then that means that 
clang, clang, clang. A mountain god. A real mountain god. Where? I don't see it. Am I blind? We are going to be eaten alive. There are already many victims. Evacuate the capital. Oink, oink. Chapter 960. And I was right. It really showed up. Oh, crap. Will I be responsible for the destruction of the capital? That is an interesting story to overhear. I may not know you two, but K K Kazoki Odin? I want to give, I want you to give me that boar, huh? Is that it? 16 chapters? Dang, that was short. Wow, we got the Odin reveal though. I'm glad he does not look like a crazy character. He looks crazy, but he still looks cool, which is good. I'm okay with this. <laughs> anyway, that was a good chapter. I'm excited about this flashback. We see Dendro, but Dendro, he looks like Huina's father. People have been wondering if he was from Wano. That looks just like a smaller version of Kuwina's dad, that is Zoro's master, pretty much. So that means, <laughs> that's, that's crazy, just, that's crazy. Kinemon, he looks like Bart, you know. Otsuru, she's cute. That's the end of my live reaction. If you haven't, go read the chapter now. It's out on jaiminisbox.com. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the reaction. Leave me a comment down below of what you thought about the chapter, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!